Hi, today I've got a problem from the UKMT British Mathematical Olympia. This problem is an interesting one uh, because the solution is kind of what you would expect it to be, which is uncommon given that this is a, an Olympiad problem. We want to prove that the product of four consecutive positive integers cannot be equal to the product of two consecutive positive integers. Um, and the reason I say this is interesting is because the starting point is probably exactly how anyone would start this. You're going to consider the product of four consecutive integers as n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 times n plus 3. And we're going to also consider the product of two consecutive positive integers. Obviously, it might not be the same n. In fact, it won't be the same n. Um, so we'll call it m and n plus 1. And we want to show that these two things can't ever be the same. OK, well, let's suppose for contradiction that they are the same. Well, we could expand this and get a very horrible looking expression. Um, so we don't really want to do that because we're going to get a quartic here, quadratic here. But how about instead, well, let's kind of partly expand this. Let's bring together the n and the n plus 3. That's going to give us n squared plus 3n. I wonder if I bring those two together, that's going to give me n squared plus 3n plus 2 equals m squared plus m. OK, cool. Why is this of any use? Well, the left-hand side is quite interesting because it's a number times two times that number plus 2. So it's not the product of two consecutive integers, it's the product of two integers which are two apart. Whereas this right-hand side is just the product of two consecutive integers. So it seems like this shouldn't work, right? If you do 5 times 6, that can't be the same as, well, it's 30. It can't be the same as the product of two numbers which are two apart, surely. Hmm. How do we prove this? Well, what we're going to do is introduce maybe another letter. Let me call it T. And T is going to be n squared plus 3n plus 1. And the reason for that is then we can say that these two numbers, one is one below t and one is one above t. So this is just t minus one, t plus one, or in other words, t squared minus one. So we get t squared minus one equals m squared plus m. And bringing the one to the other side, we get t squared is m squared plus m plus one. And now you may see the issue here. From this equation, we get that m squared must be less than t squared because t squared is m squared plus some other positive stuff. But this thing here is clearly less than m squared plus 2m plus 1, because m is a positive integer. And this is just m plus 1 squared. And so that means that t squared is sandwiched between m squared and m plus 1 squared. But that means that m is less than t is less than m plus 1, because everything here is positive. But that means that there's some integer t, which is sandwiched between m and m plus 1. But m and m plus 1 are consecutive, so this makes no sense whatsoever. You can't have an integer in between two consecutive integers. And so we arrive at our contradiction.